<clears throat> Been almost a full year since I've recorded for this game. Try and bear with me. I'm a little bit rusty. <laughs> a little rusty. Who am I kidding? I'm more, I'm more rusty than the Titanic at the bottom of the Atlantic. Hello, Lynch Mob. Welcome back to more Assassin's Creed after God knows how long it's been. I am, of course, Luke Lynch, and in the last part, we killed off Maj Dudin and did a little more nighttime snooping at Abstergo and found out a huge plot twist. If you didn't see last episode or if you haven't played this game, <laughs> excuse me, I'll not spoil it for you. Go and watch. Anyway. When we last left off, we were about to get in bed and turn in for the night, so let's do just that. What are those symbols? The following morning. Well, where's Vedic? Oh, there he is. supposed to get in there. Sure, hope not. What is this treasure? It is temptation. It's just a piece of silver. Look at it. What am I supposed to see? This piece of silver cast out Adam and Eve. It turned staves into snakes. Parted and closed the Red Sea. Ares used it to start the Trojan War. And with it, a poor carpenter turned water into wine. It seems rather plain for all the power you claim it has. Blasphemy. How does it work? He who rules it commands the hearts and minds of whoever looks upon it. Whoever tastes of it, as they say. In Garnier's man, an experiment. Herbs used to simulate its effects. To be ready for when they held it. Talel supplied them. To me equipped them. They were preparing for something. But what? War. And the others, the men who ruled the cities, they meant to gather up their people, make them like Gandhi's men. The perfect citizens, the perfect soldiers, a perfect world. Robert de Sable must never have this back. So 
long as he and his brothers live, they will try, and they must be destroyed, which is what I've had you doing. There are two more temples who require your attention. One in Kaka, known as Sibra. One in Damas, called Jubair. Visit with the bureau leaders. They'll instruct you further, as you wish. Be quick about it. No doubt Robert de Sable is made nervous by our continued success. His remaining followers will do their best to expose you. They know you come, the man in the white hood. They'll be looking for you. They won't find you. I'm but a blade in the crowd. Here, my gift to you, in gratitude for the good work you've done. Go with that flourish, Altair. Go with your bad self. Also, note that Al-Mualim has no grounding in theology. He just painted Jesus as a deceiver. No. No, 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 no. You need to read your Bible. <laughs> you need the Bible. Yeah, easy for me to say. You need to read your Bible more, old man. Thank you. Good Lord. Why could I not spit that out? Anyway, I'm glad they didn't uh, uh, invade us with the guy, but I'm actually a little rusty on how this uh, technique goes, so... So I'm actually going to do this tutorial. Because I do not remember how this goes. Ah, oh, okay. Yes, indeed. Okay. And I believe that is the last tutorial of the game. Alright. Let's go get some people dead. Now. We're going to go a little bit out of order for this. Up to now. The pattern has been Damascus. Acre and Jerusalem in that order. This time around we're actually going to go to Acre first. And yes, I know I just pronounced Acre differently than I did the last time I said it. I still have no idea how it's properly pronounced. This time around, we're actually going to go to Acre first. I, will, I don't think I'll ever know how to pronounce that name properly. Alright. Enjoy the scenic view of the lake. Or is that a river? I think that's a lake as we just run some poor guy over. Sorry! There, okay. Teleport to Acre. I'm, I'm gonna be pronouncing that back and forth through different ways throughout the rest of this Let's Play. Skirts of Acre. Let's head on up. Park our horse. And make with the scholars. Yeah, this takes a while.
1211, the Carpathian brothers took a vow of silence. Luckily, it only pertains to offline. Holy balls, that commercial is old. How do I remember that? I mean, yeah, granted, I'm known for having a memory like a steel trap as far as my family goes. But holy... Insert some word here that would go with holy. That came out of absolutely nowhere. What do you think I'm trying to do? I don't want trouble. I just want to get to my destination as quickly as possible. Ledge catch. Nice. Oh, guys, I grabbed onto the ledge! <laughs> okay. That chug of reference was completely unnecessary. Oh, apparently we're not supposed to go that way. Alright. If we can't go through you, we'll go around you. Can't go through you. Good lord, that sounds pretty gruesome. <laughs> Alright, uh, we are drawing nearer to the Assassin Bureau. Now that I think of it, I think Malik is the only Rafiq whose name we actually know. Do not quote me, though. And there's the Bureau. Let's talk to the guy. Greetings, Altair. What news? Al-Muallam has named another. Calls himself Sublan. I am familiar with the man. Newly appointed leader of the Knights Teutonic. He resides in the Venetian Quarter and runs Akka's port. I'll start my work at once. Here are the places where you should focus your search. On the docks east of here, among the ships and their crews. At the chapel to the northeast, near the cross overlooking the port. And to the north, in front of St. John's Gate. This is most healthy. My thanks for the guidance. Altair. Yes, Rafi. I owe you an apology. For what? For doubting your dedication to our cause. No. It was I who erred. I believe myself above the creed. You owe me nothing. As you wish, my friend. Go in safety. Man, Altair really has come a long way as far as his character goes. <sighs> so much more humble now. Looks like he's finally starting to get his ducks in a row. Which is great for him. Anyway, I gotta go save I gotta go save citizens and uh, scale a few viewpoints. I will be back. And we're back. All the citizens have been saved and the viewpoints have been scaled. Let's start collecting intelligence. Did they let you into the city or did you fight your way in? Ah, perhaps I should be more respectful, as I myself now require your help. I spent too much time in the harbor brothel last night and insulted a Teutonic knight's wife, or so I am told. Now there is a group of them after me. Could you give me a hand or a blade? If you return before I leave the city, I will give you the benefit of my wisdom.
a lucky man. You are alive, and I am still an apple. Here is what I have to tell you. The only thing more dangerous than a drunken sailor is one who is also angry. I know it does not seem like much, but with your wisdom, I am sure it will help. Well, let's see if we can uh, head into the memory bank. Or memory log, I hit the wrong button. There we go. It says here. <clears throat> the only thing more dangerous than a drunken sailor is one who is also angry. Such distractions will make my work more difficult. I should endeavor to avoid these troublemakers at all costs. And there's where they are. Up we go. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. That one was close. So what have you guys been up to? I recently got a Wii U and uh, got um, Mario Maker, uh, Mario Kart 8, um, Splatoon. And Zelda Twilight Princess HD. So I have the Wolf Link Amiibo and all that good stuff. I plan to put out for a PS4 next. Because, you know, Metal Gear Solid 5 is a thing. You gonna say something? All dock vessels must be cleared of crew and cargo. Captains are to present themselves to a representative from the Teutonic Order for reassignment. Any attempt to maintain possession of a claimed vessel will be punished severely. Hmm. So, where are we going to go? Beat his ass. It's not my fault. I'm only following orders. If you want your ship back, speak with the court. That's not what I'm after. Then what? The brands claimed near a hundred ships. For what purpose? A blockade. They're to sail for open water and establish a perimeter. For what? Does Salah Hadin intend to strike from sea? No, it's not he we defend against, but ships from home to deny Richard more troops. Why would one of Richard's own want to see him weakened in this way? I don't know. Ask Sifran. They're his orders. I'm just meant to carry them out. Now, please, let me go. I've told you all I know. I'm sorry. I cannot risk you telling him I'm here. <laughs> Alright, that's done. It says here, Sabran plans to install a naval blockade, preventing King Richard, his own king, from receiving reinforcements in the war against the Saracens. What would motivate Sabran to, to such treason? Perhaps we will find out. Next, I believe we're going to pickpocket a couple of peeps. Oh, 
Oh, crap. And of course I ran into a bunch of them. Stop grabbing me. I don't swing that way. Jeeps, and please get away from these assholes. Thank you. Sweet baby Jeebus. The uh, hell was... Dude! What is that noise? It's coming from the game, but... Damn. A letter which states Sabran will soon retreat to his private vessel. Let's see what that says. Sabran will soon retreat to his private vessel, believing himself safe surrounded by water. It will be difficult to, pro to approach the ship unseen, but I will find a way. Master, the situation here is dire. Stories of the assassin and their evil deeds continue to plague me. Our losses at their hands have been substantial both in Accra and our other holdings. I fear they come for me next. I have asked my men to increase their patrols towards the city, and especially the dogs. But they have proven quite resourceful. Can I even trust my men? How many of them may be in need with our enemy? I have made plans to move to sea. As soon as she is ready, I intend to board my ship and be away. It is perhaps the safest course of action. Surrounded by water and guarded by my most loyal men, it will be difficult for anyone to approach unseen. Should you have further orders for me, now would be the time to deliver them before my ship arrives. Yours in peace, Brother S. I do apologize for my horrible French accent, but I do believe that is exactly how Sabran sounds. Alright, we're going to head back along this way. It says our investigation is complete, but you know me, I'm a completionist. Oh, there they are. 
out in my business. Listen here, old man. No, you listen to me. This is my property, not his. I don't care if Christ himself put the man in charge. He isn't asking. It's in order. <laughs> That's wicked. The man couldn't order his way out of a burlap sack. I've seen the mess he's made of the docks. I won't let him ruin mine. Just read the letter. You'll see his terms are quite generous. I grow tired of this. Look, I'll consider what he has to offer, but I doubt it will change my mind. Now go on, get out of here. Badass old man standing up to a guard back in the Middle Ages. That's pretty nuts. There we go. Acquired letter stating Sobran has no guards on the northern docks. It appears the northern docks are void of Sobran's knights. I should have a little less trouble making my way through there. Occupant of the northern docks, this will serve as your final warning. Under order of the king, the Teutonic Knights have been given jurisdiction over Aquarius Port and all immediate surroundings. All immediate surroundings. You have refused to relinquish the northern docks, denying access to my men, time and time again. Such disobedience will not be tolerated. Accept the coin that's been offered to you in, comp in compensation and be on your way. Refuse and you will leave us no choice but to seize your property and bring charges for conspiring against the king. Such a crime is punishable by death. When next we come, there will be no letters. Only irons. And you saw the map there. All right. <clears throat> Next, I believe we're going to tackle that informant. Up the ladder we go. Up the wall we go. Up the other wall we go. This one takes a bit. Probably on the other side of this wall. Yep, there he is. Oh, I'm saying demons are after me. Demons with a black cross. They want me dead. Me. Can you imagine? If you see them, tell them to go away. But use your blade. It's the only language demons understand. Please come back as fast as you can. I will have something for you. Alright. Holy crap, five targets. Thank God I looked at my weapon slot. Didn't think I was going to get that. Oh, There we go. Screw him. Alright, we gotta do that over again. I'll meet you guys back at the informant. And we're back. Okay.
Yeah, this is definitely one of the tougher informant missions in the game. Well, that's all the targets. And we are home free. Cleanse your soul, huh? Required map detailing the position of Sabran's guards. Much obliged. This map details the paths taken by Sabran's guards within the docks district. I should keep it close in case my travels bring me there. And I suspect they will. And we're back. Sorry about that. The re Excuse me. The recording got cut off. <sighs> Damn, I hate when that happens. That too. Anyway... I got shit to do. Alright, let me fix the camera. That should be good. Okay. Let's lock on and listen in. Don't look now, but that was our target. Sabrand is paranoid. His fear of the assassins has him cowering deep within the docks. Reaching him may be simple. Finding him may not. Okay, that is all the intel we can gather. Let's haul ass back to the Bureau. That's not what I call hauling ass. This is what I call hauling ass. Okay. Get up the roof, get up the roof, get up the roof. Yeah. Is the rooftop garden? Yes, cool. 
Cool. Get it. Alright, into the bureau we go to begin the final part of our mission. Greetings, brother. How fares your search? I've learned all there is to know about my target. Share your knowledge with me then. Sabrand is said to be consumed by fear, driven mad by the knowledge that his death approaches. He has sealed the docks district and now hides within waiting for his ship to arrive. This will make things dangerous. I wonder how it is he learned of your mission. The men I've killed, they are all connected. Al Muallam warned me that word of my deeds has spread among them. Be on your guard, Altair. <clears throat> Either everyone wins or everyone loses, and it's just, it was a really fun time. It required a lot of thinking, and I thought it was really exciting. Sorry about that. Been trying to catch up on Steven vlog as well recently. He's gotten up to like somewhere in January. I'm still watching in July of last year. Okay, now before we get through that, we check out our penultimate um, memory for this particular piece. Sabran now hides with an Aku's port, made mad with fear. He knows the assassins have come for him. He believes retreating to his vessel will keep him safe. But all he's done is ensure I know exactly where to find him. To the docks. Apologies. And he cuts down a priest.
right, now, if I remember this correctly, I think I came down this way. Well, at least that gives me a restart. <laughs> So there's the watchtower. Well, that went well. <laughs> it's so bad that Altair can't swim. That is how it's done.
Hmm. Troubling. But we can't think about that now. Let's get the hell up out of here. You shall not consign me to the fires of hell. At least not yet. Go, 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 go! Okay. We just dodged an arrow. Unintentional collectible is unintentional. for it. Wait for it. Alright, I think we're clear. At least I hope to God we're clear. And so we are. Altair, you've caused quite a stir. I've done as requested. Sabran's life is ended. So it is. So it is. You should ride for Masiyaf and inform Al Muallim of your success. Yes. I should return and speak to him. Of this and other things. Is everything all right, my friend? You seem distant. It's nothing, Rafi. Just a lot on my mind. Talk to me then. Let me help. I need to make sense of this myself first. But thank you for the offer. It is the men you kill, isn't it? You feel something for them. How? Ah, my friend. You are not meant to enjoy these grim tasks. Regret, uncertainty, sympathy. This is to be expected. I should not fear these feelings. You should embrace them. They are what keep you human. What if I'm wrong? What if these men are not meant to die? What if they mean well? Misguided, perhaps, but pure in motive. I am but a Rafiq, Altair, and such things are beyond me. Perhaps Al Mualim can help you to make sense of it. Yes, perhaps. Thank you, Rafiq. It is my pleasure to have served with one as skilled as you. Okay. Target has been eliminated. Return to Amwali. Sabrand, like others I've slain, was convinced his brothers would bring peace to the land by freeing the people from the shackles of fate. This strange brotherhood seeks the same as the assassins, but their methods are too brutal and imprecise. I admit, I am torn. 
While I can appreciate their goals, I view with disfavor the way in which they seek to realize them. Still, the situation raises questions. If we want the same thing, should we not be working together? Perhaps I'm Wall can explain. Hopefully. And to that end, back to Masiaf we go. Upon you as well, Master. We're getting down to it, guys. After God knows how long it's been since I started this Let's Play. We can finally catch a glimpse of the light at the end of the tunnel. Hmm. Let's see if we can make it to the uh, Damask Bureau. The Damascus Bureau. Before my video gets cut off again. We have a lot to think about here. We have similar goals to the Templars. Pretty much the only even even our even our means are not that different. It's all a question of do the ends justify the means? The Templars say yes, absolutely. It does not matter how you obtain your goal, only that you obtain it. The assassins seem to say, well, yes, the goal is important, but you don't want to become like those you are trying to destroy in the w in uh, during your path to obtain it. After all, the German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche once wrote that when a man goes out hunting monsters, 
he should be careful that in the process he does not become a monster himself. This might take a while. I'll meet you guys at the bureau. And we are back. We have arrived at the bureau. Let's go inside and talk to Leonardo da- I mean, um, um, uh, the Rafiq. been through what Altair's been through, you tend to reflect on a few things. And we will do that while we wait for me to record my next video, however long that will take. So, if you enjoyed this long-awaited video, which, again, very long time since I've been doing this, um, please subscribe to my channel down below this player. Big gray button. Give me lots of thumbs ups to the right of said button. Excuse me. And be sure to check out my other parts if you like this one. Luke Lynch signing off. I will talk to you guys at some point in the future. Peace out. Stay awesome.